Before we start the video, as per usual, this video is not made for kids. It's for older fans of the show and adults only, and for fuck's sake, you should know that by now. Now shut the fuck up and enjoy some Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, I mean, the video. A most musical engine. The Kirk Ronin electrification scheme is nearing its completion. The extension of the electric wires between Kildane and Kirk Ronan was about to be energized. Tests were carried out using the Peel Godred engines, but as part of the agreement between the Fat Controller and the Austrian Federal Railways, the Austrian Railways were to send over a locomotive to help run the new extended electric services between Kirk Ronan and Peel Godred. One day, at Brendam Docks, Cranky was unloading that locomotive. But Cranky was being cranky as per usual. I really don't know what all the fuss is about for this engine here. <laughs> it looks like nothing I've ever seen before. Looks like a red cuboid on wheels. Arr, get the newcomer welcome, matey, said Salty. Mm, well, I would, but my chain has had enough. And then he dropped the engine onto the rail. Vorsicht! Bugger! Thankfully, no damage was done to the engine. The fat controller came forward to the engine and began to speak to him. I think it is only right that I say, Willkommen zu der Insel von Zordon. What is your name? Thank you, sir, replied the engine. My name is Wolfgang. And you must be Sir Topham Head. I've heard about you on this ship. That is right, Wolfgang. As part of the agreement with the electrification of the Kirk Ronan line, I would like to thank Herr Schmidt for his generosity in supplying us with you to run our Peel Godred electrification extension. Murdoch will take you to Kirk Ronan, where it can start being tested under the wires. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It's good to get off this ship at last. Murdoch then backed onto Wolfgang. And the set off bound for Kildare. Murdoch was known for his liking of peace and quiet, but he could not help ask a few questions to Wolfgang. So, uh, how long were you on that ship for? Well, a few weeks. After being loaded on at Corpa, I only had the sound of the sea and the other cargo to keep me company. I passed the time, somehow. Well, I am one for a bit of peace and quiet after all. But that always reminds me of the stories that Salty tells me about the sea. Well, if you are one for peace and quiet, You'd like the serenity of the Alps. The two kept talking until they arrived at Kilda. Molly, who was at the moment running the Kirk Rogan line, met up with Wolfgang. Oh, hello. So, you must be the new engine. What's your name? I'm Molly. Oh, hello Molly. Uh, I'm Wolfgang. And the two began to have a talk. Over the next few days, Wolfgang was tested on the newly electrified section of track and up to Peel Godward. He however began to be noticed by the engine for his musical traction motors as when he would pull away, his motors would play a musical scale. In no time at all, it came to the attention of the big engines. If his name is Wolfgang, does that mean his last name is Amadeus Mozart? laughed Gordon. Or oh, Wolfgang von Trapp? said Henry. Where's Julie Andrews when you need her? Smirked James. 
Then Diesel did it. Did you know that Mozart wrote a cannon called Kiss My Ass? The engines gaped in disbelief. Real? Yes, replied Diesel. He wrote it in 1782 as a piece to take the mickey out of his friends. It remained unpublished for many years until recently. I couldn't believe it either when I heard about it. The big engines hollered in laughter. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I can't believe it, it's just too good to be true! <laughs> then the engines began to tease Wolfgang, including the Peel Godred electric locomotives. There's a film that my driver watched as a kid called The Sound of Music, and it is very in tune with you, Wolfgang! Rock me Amadeus, rock me Amadeus. Try not to get out of tune. It's Mozart's on rails. But Diesel 10 saw things differently. I don't see why Fat Ass did a deal with Austria to get this music box on rails. Why could he have not? Dieselized and got rid of those electric buckets along with the steam kettles. I ah, think he would have been the perfect candidate. <laughs> ja, ja, sehr lustig. Molly then arrived to soothe Wolfgang's feelings. Don't worry about them, she said. They're just not used to someone like you on our railway. Ugh, ugh, sings Molly, said Wolfgang. And then he looked to the ground. Are you missing Austria already? asked Molly. Well, yes and no. Especially after the Vienna controller basically kicked me out and got me on the goods train to Slovenia. Ich danke Ihnen für Ihren Dienst, aber am 6 Uhr, Sie sind auch zu Kopa und zu Soda. Warum mich? Gibt es jemand anderen aber mehr? Kein mehr Fragen! Am 6 Uhr, Sie heraus! Ja, obwohl... Aber Herr, Wolfgang könne nicht uns verlassen. Franz, es reicht! Munde. Auf Wiedersehen, Wolfgang. And so I was off to Slovenia being towed on a freight train before being loaded onto this ship. His last words to me. Uh, uh, Molly, are you okay too? Well, sighed Molly, I'm going to be going to Saturday once the electric services have been fully implemented. And that means a new ship. And is there a problem with that? Well, I have a family of hedgehogs living under my shed. And I like them very much. Hedgehogs? Hedgehog! Fehler! Übersetzung nicht gefunden. Lokführer? Was ist Hedgehog auf Deutsch? Egal. Ach, danke. I see now. And you feel like you will miss them? Yes, sighed Molly. If only I can take them with me. But Molly's driver interjected. I don't know about that, Molly. They are wild animals after all. But growing up as a lad in Lancashire, we did learn about hedgehogs and did projects in helping the local hedgehog population. Just then, Gordon. Oh, look who it is, he laughed. It's Mr. Musical himself, and... I don't think what you're saying is very nice to him, Gordon, said Molly. 
But go on, just retort it. And don't you have a family of hedgehogs to go and look after? And then Gordon wished at Wolfgang and Molly. Molly backed off feeling hurt. While Wolfgang just glared at Gordon. Don't come! Gordon just left in a hole. Wolfgang was in a foul mood for the rest of the day, and the Peel Godric engines took advantage of it. Eventually, Wolfgang saw the fat controller and blew his horn to catch his attention. Sir! Why was Eisenbahn sent over from Austria? Why did it have to be me? I just want to go back home! The fat controller turned calmly. Because of your fluency in English. And that was the requirement I sent to UBB as part of the deal. Fluency? Fehler! Übersetzung nicht gefunden! Verdammt! Das Wort ist Sprechflüssigkeit. Und bitte, Wolfgang, beruhigen sich auf. Please calm down, Wolfgang. I have heard that the engines have been teasing you. If it keeps happening, I will speak to them. Now, the mountain fly is going to make its inaugural run tomorrow. Inaugural? Fehler! Übersetzung für das Worte nicht gefunden. Sir. Can you not give me these two complex words, please? Okay. To simplify, the mountain fly will start tomorrow. Passengers will be given free refreshments, including apple strudels, for their first return trip between Kirk Ronan and Peel Godred. Yes, sir, replied Wolfgang. Thank you. And please tell them to stop making jokes about the sound of music. My Lokführer says it is a Hollywood idealistic portrayal of my country and the Von Trapp family. Well do, Wolfgang. Then Wolfgang left. The next morning at Kirk Ronan, Wolfgang was ready with the inaugural mountain flyer. With Austrian themed displays and the smell of freshly baked apple strudels, Molly came alongside to Wolfgang and spoke kindly to him before he left. And after the press conducted their interviews and the inauguration ceremony was held, it was time for Wolfgang to depart with the first mountain flyer. Passengers on the first day also got free tickets for the Coldy Fell River. The day went smoothly for Wolfgang after the first run. Until that afternoon, a kill day, Gordon passed by. Think you are trying to outcompete me with the Express? He chuckled. You can only go between Kirk Ronan and Peel Godric. What a pity, really! Wolfgang said nothing. But then, it happened. Gordon burst his safety box. Oh! Ow! Ah! Oh. oh dear. We're gonna need help, said Gordon's driver. But Wolfgang had the sense to approach Gordon and saw him in a sorry state. Then, Gordon frowned when he saw Wolfgang. How are you even going to help me? You can't run off the electric wires. But you need help. And I will help you the best that I can. The best you can? Pa! Don't be daft. I am not being daft. Wolfgang then changed tracks and then buffered up to Gordon.
The wires will last me up to Kirk Ronan Junction. Then I can use my batteries to take you to Crovin's Gate. But Wolfgang's driver is concerned. Aber Wolfgang, das ist gefährlich. But Wolfgang insisted. Nein, Lokführer, ich muss gehen zu helfen. Wolfgang's driver denied. And Wolfgang started pulling the train towards Crovin's Gate. Presently, left the wires and Wolfgang began to use his battery, which he was not designed for. Then, just as they were approaching Croven's gates, Wolfgang's batteries gave out and he could not move an inch further. Told you so, said Gordon. Scheiße, sighed Wolfgang. He stood still for a few moments. Then the train unexpectedly moved and they arrived at the platform of Croven's Gate. Brauche Sie Hilfe? called a voice. It was Molly. And then she pulled alongside and smiled. Gordon felt indignant. Ha! Huh! How indignant is it to be saved by an electric box like you, who couldn't even make it to the platform here at Crewman's Gate? Oh, the indignity! Wolfgang had had enough. That is enough! I came over to this island and expected to be made welcome, but you have been laughing at me and making fun of me for my traction motors and how I was built. You're all a lot older than me. Some of you even date back to the days of the Habsburgs. And still you make fun of me. Is it too much to ask for a proper welcome in my new home? Not just you, but those electric locals too. Just your wait. I'll be back. The fat controller heard everything, and then he came over to Gordon. Gordon, I am very disappointed in you for your treatment of Wolfgang, among other things. Wolfgang did his utmost best to try and save you, even though he had no electric wires to run off. I have also scolded the Pale Godred engines and the Ullerbeek engines for their attitudes towards him. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, said Gordon. I would like to thank you, Molly, continued the Fat Controller, for standing up to Wolfgang whenever he was harassed and bullied. Thank you, sir. That's no problem, smiled Molly. But then the Fat Controller turned to Gordon again. But once you have been repaired, Molly and Rebecca will be pulling the express for a couple of weeks. And you, on the other hand, will be handling trains that will make you understand the meaning of the word that Wolfgang calls Scheiße. <laughs> said Wolfgang sheepishly. Then Molly took Wolfgang back to Peel Godred, where the electric engines apologised for their rudeness and teasing of Wolfgang. Gordon spent the next day dealing with the waste disposal truck Oh Crap and Schmidt. Wolfgang kept pulling the mountain flag. It's needless to say that Gordon didn't like it one bit. Soon, it was time for Molly to leave Kirk Rona for Sodri. She was rather sad to see the family of hedgehogs behind, but she promised to see Wolfgang whenever she could. But that night, as she settled in her shed, she heard a familiar sniffing. What's that? she said. Is it... Could it be... Hedgehogs? said Molly. And sure enough, a new family of hedgehogs appeared. Oh, how delightful! said Molly happily. And the hedgehogs began crawling around her and settled into her new hedgehog home that was built in her shed. Molly was delighted at her new prickly house. Mm -hmm. 
Wolfgang settled into sober life and became good friends with other actors. But he's always thankful to Molly for caring for him. He considers her his closest friend.